the 19 best data analyst courses in 2024. Now, how did I make this huge list? Well, I just checked what skills employers actually look for on the real job market. And this site has analyzed millions of job listings. And these are the top skills that you need to learn. So first we'll cover SQL courses, the number one skill for data analysts. And then we'll move over to Microsoft Excel. And then we'll cover Python and we'll also cover R. And we're going to talk about Tableau and Power BI courses as well. And with this complete skill set, you'll be job ready and good to go. And we'll cover at least one free course for every single skill that anyone can take. So first we're going to cover SQL as it is the most important skill for data analysts. With around 50% of job listings mentioning SQL as a necessary skill, it's highly in demand, so we better learn it. Now SQL is used to manage relational databases, which are kind of those classic ones with columns and rows. And the first course up on the list is the SQL for data science course. Now this one is only 15 hours, but will teach you all the SQL fundamentals. And there are over 600,000 people enrolled and it has a 4.6 rating. So it is safe to say that this course gets the job done. It is also a part of a more time consuming certificate to learn SQL. But for data analysts, this is a great start. And the first part of the course covers how to retrieve data using select and how to filter, sort and do calculations. Module three covers sub queries and joints and module four goes deeper into kind of modifying and basic analysis on data using SQL. The course is by a well known university. It's top rated and a very good course overall. Next up on the list, we have the learn SQL from A to C track by LearnSQL.com. And in this case, I am kind of biased. I am a longtime partner of learn SQL, but I do think that their site is absolutely fantastic because they focus entirely on practicing SQL with hands on exercises and real world problems. It's quite often that we take a course and after the course, we don't really learn anything or at least we cannot apply it. But that's not the case here. This track contains seven different courses and takes you on average around 91 hours to complete with over 41,000 people enrolled. And it's received a rating close to five out of five stars, which is pretty good as well. And it does also include a certificate that you can put on your profile after, just like all the other options that we'll mention. They also recently launched another track called SQL for Data Analysis. Now, this one is still very new, so it doesn't have that many reviews or enrollments. And it is four courses at 48 hours instead. So about half the time of the original Learn SQL from A to Z track. Now, this one is shorter because they focus more on these specific things that you actually need as a data analyst. And they kind of skip other part, which can be a very good option if you're short on time or you just want to get started quicker. More specifically, it does cover the SQL basics for beginners and, you know, different statements creating SQL reports and also window functions in the final course. Great site overall, but let's move on to the next one. So the next one is going to be a 100% free option because I know a lot of you guys want that and it is kind of helpful as well. And that would be the Learn SQL for Data Analytics course on YouTube. And this one is very new. It is four hours and completely free by Luke on YouTube. So I think it's a great option as well. The main difference between this one, which is kind of like a YouTube video and the other one is that, well, it's a video format and some people love this. But if you do just prefer doing exercises, then I would go with either Learn SQL SQL, or you can look into another free practice alternative, which we're actually going to cover when we talk more about Python and different skills like that later. So next up, we have Microsoft Excel. Now, this skill is mentioned in over 30% of job listings for data analysts, but I would actually assume that it's way higher. I think most companies don't necessarily put Excel because it's kind of assumed that you have these knowledge already, and it is a very important skill. So today we're going to check out the best courses for it. First up, we have the Excel basics for data analysis, and I've actually recommended this one before. It is very popular and a great option. This is a course that's also a part of multiple other programs, but it does work great as a kind of standalone course for learning Excel fast, specifically for data analysis as well. It has a 4.8 rating with over 300,000 people enrolled, and it's only 12 hours, but will give you the absolute Excel basics, the most useful things that you need. They're going to cover getting started with Excel, cleaning, wrangling data, analyzing data, and also a final project at the end, which I think is a great addition because you can kind of put everything together in a project. Now, next we have the Excel for business specialization. And this is probably the highest rated Excel course I've ever seen. I've recommended it before and it's gotten a lot of positive feedback from you guys. And this one has a 4.9 rating with over half a million people enrolled. It is absolutely insane. Now it is pretty long at three months at 10 hours a week, but what I would do is just kind of focus on a specific part of the course. If you want to become a data analyst or you are a data analyst, then the first two courses are going to be the most useful. 
And yes, you could take all of them, but it is going to be pretty long. And it could still be pretty long, even if you only take the first two courses, about 50 hours or so in total. But that's why we also have the shorter option that I mentioned before, if you just want to learn it in around 14, 15 hours or so. And now for a free option, I would recommend this YouTube tutorial, which is actually over seven hours available for free on YouTube. And it's called Excel Data Analysis Full Course. This one actually has a ton of views and a lot of positive feedback. And I do think that it's a great option if you kind of like the video format once again. It covers Excel in detail because it's seven hours of content and it is completely free. Now it's time to move on to Python. Did I scare you? So our first option here is the Python for Everybody specialization. And it is one of the most popular courses on Coursera in general with over 1.6 million people enrolled. That's almost too many people for a course, but I want to offer you a new perspective on this one. So it is very popular and celebrated and has a 4.8 rating of over two 200,000 reviews and it is pretty short as well at only two months at 10 hours a week. You can actually make it way more efficient as well if you want to. You see in these courses some of these ones are not necessarily going to be the most relevant for you as a data analyst. Python is a very versatile language and you can literally do anything with Python. So you don't have to learn Python for all use cases. Rather, what you have to do is you have to kind of focus on data analysis with Python. And the most relevant courses here will be the first one if you're a beginner and you might learn some data structures in the second course and then kind of using databases with Python. Now, what I would do is I would actually supplement my learning with We3 Schools, which is a completely free platform for learning Python or just about any programming language that they offer. They do have some learning tracks with kind of hands-on practice for Python, but also libraries like NumPy and Pandas, which are very important for data science and highly in demand. And you can actually go through these tracks and learn it all for free on this site. It is completely for free. They do offer some kind of paid certificates or whatever, but I would kind of skip them to be honest. And if you are a more visual learner and you kind of prefer staying along with a video and that helps you stay motivated, then I would also recommend the Python for Data Analytics course by Luke again. And it is pretty new and over 10 hours hours of content for completely free and it's getting a lot of use so I do think that people are really enjoying it and one advantage of either taking a YouTube video or taking a course is that you will kind of stay motivated and actually go through it and you want to make sure that you have a clear path and that you know what you're going to be doing it's very hard to go up and study if you don't have a clear path and you don't know what to do it's much easier to just follow along with the course and you know do something every single day now if you're somebody that prefers to learn R which is another option to Python then we've got a couple of courses for you as well. The debate is always whether one should learn Python or R and Python is a more versatile language. It is actually more popular and used for more things basically and it's very easy to learn for beginners as well. Now of course you'll still need the programming fundamentals but it's a good way to learn them through Python. Now R is actually popular as well specifically for statistical computing and also very popular in academia and research and so on and some really high paying job opportunities will ask for R as well so it is worth checking out a few courses if you're interested. The first one is going to be the Data Analytics with Excel and R course from IBM. Now this one actually combines two skills and can you guess what they are? It's Excel and R, wow. And I think this course is quite underrated and doesn't actually get the appreciation that it deserves. It only has 30,000 people enrolled but their views are top rated and if we actually look at the courses it does cover a lot of different exciting stuff and even some SQL in this course. But the main focus is going to be on learning Excel and learning R programming for data analytics. Another free option, if you do prefer that, is going to be the R programming full course again on YouTube by Simply Learn. And it has hundreds of thousands of views and is over 10 hours of free content included. Now, this one is good because it's free, but I would definitely prefer the IBM course, which covers things a lot more focusing on data analytics rather than just a long, you know, general R course for programming. It is way more exciting to learn something and apply it to your specific thing directly rather than to kind of take a general course, which can get pretty boring. But I'm sure that you could find some other free alternative as well. Now we're moving on to some data visualization softwares. And the first one is going to be tab low, which is in around 24% of all job listings. And as you can see, when you kind of put these skills together in your toolbox, you will be eligible for so many more jobs. If you're missing one of these skills, like Tableau or Power BI, some employers will instantly throw your resume out. So our first option here is the data visualization with Tableau specialization by UC Davis. It has a rating of 4.5 stars of over 100,000 people enrolled and the cert itself is pretty short at only one month at 10 
hours a week. There are five different courses included in the package, and the reason why I like this one so much is because first of all, the ratings are very good, but also the content specifically. You see, you're actually learning everything you want with Tableau. You're learning the basics, you're doing some visual analytics, you're creating dashboards and you're doing storytelling. And finally, you're doing some data visualization project with Tableau at the end, which is great for your portfolio as well. Now that is a great course, but I would also recommend the Tableau certified data analyst on DataCamp. And this is the first time that we mentioned DataCamp in this video, but I have mentioned it many times before. And what this track actually does is that it helps you prepare for a certification as well in the process, which is quite nice. And DataCamp is also pretty affordable and you can get so many different courses and other tools in the package included in the subscription. But once you learn the basics, you might want to do a project and a free option is going to be this Tableau project on YouTube, which is kind of like a Tableau end to end project by Data with Bara. It's on YouTube at around two hours long for the entire video and has fantastic feedback from learners and a lot of views. People in the comment section are actually saying that it's the same quality as a paid Udemy course, but that it's for free, which is a pretty crazy thing. So I wanted to just share it with you guys because I think you might find it helpful, especially because it's a project and many people are looking to do some more projects and kind of build a portfolio. Now, there's always a constant debate about Tableau versus Power BI, but the truth is that both are great data visualization softwares. But if you do prefer the Microsoft suite, then Power BI is a Microsoft product. So you may want to learn Power BI. You can pretty much do the same thing with these tools. And if you learn one, you can also learn the other. But let's look at some Power BI courses because these skills are in incredibly high demand as well. So the first course is probably one of my favorites on this list and it is the Microsoft Power BI Data Analyst Professional Certificate. It has a lot of people enrolled and for good reason, and it's actually pretty new, but there's still so many people enrolled. It is beginner level and five months at 10 hours a week and will basically cover everything a data analyst would do, but focusing on doing it with Power BI specifically. You'll be doing all sorts of stuff with Power BI and you will actually kind of become an expert because they will also help you prepare for a real certification by Microsoft, which you might be familiar with, and it's called the PL300 certification. Now, if you do get this certification, you are officially a Microsoft certified data analyst, which is pretty cool to put on your resume. And it also includes a capstone project in the course as well. Now, if you do prefer learning on DataCamp, they also offer a short introduction to Power BI or a longer learning path called Data Analyst in Power BI. And I'm mentioning this one because these ones can actually help you prepare for the same PL300 Microsoft certification. So you can kind of pick and choose if you want to go with Data camp or you want to go with Coursera. They're both great platforms and they will help you prepare for the same EL300 exam as well. Now as a free option, because I want to make sure to include that as well, you could always look into the Power BI playlist on YouTube by Kevin Stratford. It has millions of views and will teach you all of the basics of Power BI in roughly two hours or so, which I think is a pretty good opportunity for free. Now, one of the best ways to build a stronger resume and make you actually job ready for employers is by getting a certification. In this video on the screen, I talked about the best certifications for data analysts and it's a top rated video and went viral. So I do think that you would find it helpful somewhere on the screen. Just click it out and I'll see you over there.